Okay, so just a couple more things and then we're going to move on to the next section here. What I want to do is I want to have this, when I hit has evolved, to have the iPhone in the back to start increasing. Okay, so right about here I'm going to change the scale of the uh, uh, iPhone 1. So I open that. I can even press S to go right to it. And I'm going to select the um, scale stopwatch to turn that on. And then when it gets towards the end, right about <clears throat> here. Yeah, we'll put it right at the end. Uh, I'm going to increase that. Oh, that's too much. Um, maybe something like that. So then it's going to look something like this. So that's kind of cool, but notice that there's uh, some weird kind of movement because I'm just increasing and it's not really speeding up. So it looks as if I'm just going back and forth with the phones. So the last step that I want to do here is I want to open the effects and I want to open the uh, speed for the auto scroll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this once I add that uh, keyframe. So then it's going to look, and I started scaling it, so it's going to look as it's starting to move forward. So right about here where I could even line it up. There we go. Yep. Right there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm right there. So I'm going to add a keyframe for the speed and then I'm going to add another keyframe right where that other keyframe is available. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the speed. Maybe that might be a little too much. Let's see. So now it looks as it's moving forward. There we go. And actually, I could probably have a little fun with this and add another keyframe here. And when it gets to, once it gets here, it speeds up a lot faster too. There we go. So we can do something like that. Okay, that's that's cool. And now what I want to do is once it gets right about here, I also want to have this fade out. So I'm going to do um, fade out to zero. Oops, I need to add a keyframe where I want to start having that fade out right about here. So I add another keyframe. Then go to the last one I created and put this at zero. So now I'm going to have something like this. And what I've done here is I actually shrink the work area. So then when I hit my RAM preview, uh, it's going to run a lot faster. Also, as I work in my document, I can change the resolution to third. And that's also going to speed up the way it renders the um, graphics as I work through the timeline. So I'm going to hit RAM preview and now it's only gonna do the preview for that work area. There we go. Cool. I think I'm gonna start the fading a little bit sooner. So I'm gonna just drag the keyframe so then, that way I can see the has evolved by itself a little bit longer. So maybe something like that. There we go. There we go. I like that better. Okay. <clears throat> so then I'm going to save that and we're going to continue on the next section.